we feel the crew feels that uh, that the hardware in every instance was uh, almost perfect. Uh, as far as I know, the only malfunctions that were apparent to us were two transducer failures, probably. And uh, we, I don't understand how we can possibly talk even an hour about the whole thing. It's like riding an airplane and uh, having a good flight ride okay and, and leave. But nevertheless, uh, we would be happy to answer or respond to questions or else discuss the launch with you and, uh, and point out uh, some uh, peculiarities that we noticed. For instance, one of the things that we mentioned before in the lighter stages of the S2 burn, we picked up an oscillation uh, that uh, we didn't expect. As far as the, to just the synopsis of the launch vehicle performance, as far as I know, it was perfectly nominal. It's adequately simulated in our DCPS. I think that everything that we saw in the launch vehicle performance was what we expected, except for about 30 seconds of oscillation at the end of the S2 burn. And I understand you already know what that was. It was an O5G uh, vibration or a pump and a triple pump on the S2. The only time we had from the time of power tower clear until about T plus 35 seconds, it's just noisier than hell. There must be a perfect reflection off, off the uh, ground at that point, and we just couldn't hear it very well. Just, just plain noise. I wish we could fi find something wrong. I don't know what we can say. I think we're having no, a <laughs>